Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Geraldo and statistics. We're going to do this because one of y'all tagged me in one of his tweets at like 3 a.m. because you didn't want me to have a good Saturday night. No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm glad you did because this is probably something that I have talked about it before in a way. I've talked about these statistics before, but I'm going to take it a step further today because of this tweet. Okay, so what did he say? He says, Black lives matter, but only if the life is taken by a cop. Hard to hear and easy to ignore, but no one other than the victim's families seem to care if the perpetrator is another black life, which most are. No mention of black-on-black -black crime at the Oscars. All right. Okay, so let's, let's go to the whole Black Lives Matter, but they don't, you know, talk about every single thing that impacts black people. All right, let's start there, because there's a lot in this tweet. Um, have you ever noticed that people that say that always go to crime? They never say, oh, Black Lives Matter, but you never hear them talk about diseases that, you know, predominantly affect black people. Always goes to crime. Because it reinforces the narrative that black people are criminals. Therefore, it's okay for the cops to, you know, just handle it. And then they point to those statistics, which most are. If the perpetrator is another black life, which most are. I have talked about those statistics a lot. First thing, those statistics do not show what people think they do. It does not show which skin tone kills the most. It's not what it shows. It shows who gets arrested the most. And given the fact that law enforcement only clears like 60% of murder cases, and those are only of cases that were opened, and there's a whole bunch of missing persons that we know were probably killed, you really can't uh, establish anything when you're missing half the information. The statistics, in and of themselves, are garbage. But, I've got a whole bunch of videos on this topic. I want to take it a step further. Why are they divided up by race? The purpose of statistics is to give you useful information. And unless somebody is suggesting that skin tone contributes to somebody becoming a killer, they're, they're kind of useless. And the idea that skin tone makes somebody a killer, wow, that's like inherently racist, isn't it? They're just not civilized yet, I guess. The stats are useless. They really are. By this same data set, people with brown eyes are more likely to be killers. And they're more likely to kill people with brown eyes. Wild, right? I'm willing to bet we're not going to base policy on that. You're not going to have politicians using that as a talking point. Because that doesn't reinforce the systemic racism that exists in the United States. And that's what these stats do. Let's try it a different way. Some stats that we know to be true. We have these stats that attempt to paint black people as criminals. Okay? Disproportionately responsible for more crime. We also know that black people are disproportionately low income. That may be an actual causal relationship rather than skin tone. I'm willing to bet if we did this by economic status, it would be more useful. Because if you are of lower means, you're probably more likely to get involved in lesser crimes. And then things might escalate. That would be less of a spurious correlation. That would at least be something worth looking into. There is no evidence to suggest a causal link between skin tone and whether or not you are a killer. 
when somebody uses this, it is inherently racist. There's no evidence to back that up. What you have is a spurious correlation. And they didn't talk about it at the Oscars, and that's like super important, I guess. When you are looking at statistics, try to uh, try to figure out if what you're looking at actually establishes a causal relationship. One thing causes the other, or if it's just random information. Because if we're basing policy on random information, well, we're probably not going to get good results. We have to look for the causal relationships, not the spur spurious correlations. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.